it looks like the business you're trying to attract is just white dudes. I recently posted a link to a panel session that I'd been invited to moderate. It was a great panel put on by a leading industry firm on a timely, topical, and focused issue. What's not to love? So I accepted the invitation immediately and proudly posted it on LinkedIn, showing me as the moderator and five panelists. Yes, that's a total of six men 40 years and over. Well, at least I think they're all 40 and over. The feedback was pretty good to the post, except I got two comments. And. Now, I'm not afraid of a challenge or two, and I crafted what I thought was a reasonable response, and it ended with the phrase, uh, we all need to do more to promote diversity. Hey, I'm just the moderator, not the organizer. I mean, what can I do? Turns out, plenty. A few days later, I was attending the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Annual Lecture 2020. In her speech, she challenged moderators and panelists to question organizers about the diversity on their panels. Frankly, in hindsight, I'm just the moderator sounds pretty pathetic. I love being a moderator and panel, and I welcome all future invitations. But with this post, inviters need to come armed with an explanation as to what they've done to try and have inclusive panels with a wide range of views. If you've tried and failed, why not ask me? I know a few people. So thanks to the commentator uh, who made those two posts and Miranda for giving me a firm but gentle slap in the face. What else should we be doing to make certain panels are more inclusive in future? Put your ideas into the comments below. And if you want to be a speaker in future or be considered as a panelist, why don't you DM me?